Russia uh, is uh, supplying in fossil fuels uh, uh, the largest uh, chunk, the largest share of the imports of the European Union, but di different to uh, the countries uh, uh, with their import dependency. The average uh, import dependency of the European Union is about 60%. And uh, of, of uh, this is mainly solid uh, fuel, uh, uh, hard coal, this is uh, mineral oil, and this is natural gas. And um, until now, this has been uh, the, the uh, best uh, delivery, uh, and the most delivery always come from Russia, even th uh, when, uh, since uh, some years, uh, the countries of origin are changing uh, for this. Uh, so we are getting quite a lot of uh, Norway, too. Um, and uh, in the solid uh, uh, fuel, uh, the United States started to deliver uh, uh, instead of uh, South Africa, which has been a larger uh, supporter or, or supplier of, uh, of uh, hard coal in the past. So this is the actual situation. The future sh situation is uh, that uh, the European Union is transforming to an energy union and also uh, to keep its uh, climate policy uh, reducing uh, and decarbonizing uh, the energy mix. And this is uh, the challenge also for, for Russia because in the uh, long run uh, we will not be importer of uh, any fossil fuels any longer. So <laughs> that's, that's, so to say, the agenda for 2050. Uh, and uh, this process is ongoing, uh, and uh, therefore um, the, is the, the time span for this um, is rather short. Uh, and if we look in the different uh, sectors, uh, energy is uh, not mainly electricity. It is the transport sector, and it is uh, also a gas uh, for um, district and, and heating uh, of, of the buildings. And also this will change for the future. The transport se sector will change totally by either electrification or uh, hydrogen uh, engines. Uh, uh, so however, uh, oil <laughs> and diesel uh, will not be used in the future any longer. And uh, that's, that's a challenge uh, to face that. So this will uh, be the main problem also for uh, the cooperation because Russia on the other side is uh, dependent on the revenue of selling uh, the uh, fossil fuels to Europe. Russia has uh, uh, to realize uh, that um, the pure s uh, sell of, of resources will not be uh, the possibility for ever. Yes? So, and uh, because, as I said, if we take, for example, the Paris Agreement serious and implement this now, then uh, the time span for going down uh, in, in some sectors like transport are rather short. Right? So then uh, the next generation of cars should be totally different. And this has an impact on, on the whole car industry in, on, the, on the globe. Yeah? It's, it's not only Europe, it's China, it's US, it's also Russia. Right? So uh, th that's... Uh, uh, one of the things uh, which is then there are other uh, countries who also want to deliver their uh, fossil fuels, like for example Iran. Yeah? And um, this has not been solved either. Yeah? So there will be a competition because uh, the natural gas reserves of Iran are larger than the Russian ones. Uh, no, this uh, will not happen no, because the, the uh, 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 
climate change as, as a, a threat is so uh, overwhelming that uh, there is no chance uh, to move away. There are already 50 countries of the uh, um, of those who are uh, already ratified uh, the Paris Agreement, which want to go on zero fossil fuels. Yeah? So this process cannot be stopped.